welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be teaching you how I made my Grudo Link cosplay. Yesterday, I did Miha or Mija, not sure how to say it, the Great Fairy from Breath of the Wild. It's the purple one. Today, I am doing Grudo Link. Tomorrow, I'll be doing a Korok. These are all for C2E2 in Chicago, and I'm very excited to do it. Breath of the Wild has very quickly become maybe my favorite game of all time, and I think that the costumes, or, or I guess the characters and what they wear, are, are just so good. I'm, I'm loving the cosplays that are coming out of it, so I'm very excited to contribute to those. This is what I found for Grudo Link so far. In Chicago, there is an area of town called Little India, and there is a thrift store there that sells beautiful garments that I stumbled upon very luckily and I never would have been able to make this cosplay without finding it. It's got all the materials that I, I needed for this cosplay and also the one I did yesterday were all from that thrift store. I bought this beautiful green with some gold detailing. I'm gonna use it as uh, some like detailing at the bottom of the pants and also for the green belt that Grudo Link has. It was $5.75 for this giant scarf of beautiful green material. Next, I cannot believe that I found these. It's very loud. These were $6 and they're so freaking perfect. It's crazy. So Rudo Link has purple pants and these are purple slouchy beautiful pants with a drawstring. So they are quite large, but that adds to the bunchiness that they give. They're perfect. The bottom, they've got some beautiful beading detail. It's just like the stuff at this thrift is amazing. I also did a General Organa cosplay from The Last Jedi recently, and I got her jacket from there, from that section. It was just perfect. Instead of making a new belt, I found this beautiful uh, hip sash and I'm just going to sew in green material into the middle of it while keeping the purple little sashes, little shimmeries, you know, technical terms. This is what I'm going to use to create the top. It's a, kind of like a halter that attaches to a necklace. It's the perfect color and then I can paint on details. There's also some beading detail that I'll use somewhere. Don't. There's a red sash around Grudo Link's waist. Then I got this, which was $3. It's just a piece of really pretty see-through blue. I think I'm gonna use for the arm little brackets, maybe the face bracket and the head bracket. So just a lot of material. Thankfully the pants are already built because I could in no world ever make pants. So I'm gonna try to make the top and uh, sew on the sash and the belts together and just see how it all comes out. I wanted to incorporate a shield or a bow or some one of one of the accessories that Link has. So I was gonna see if I could turn this into the Rito shield by just painting it, maybe putting some gems on it. Um, it's a really small Wonder Woman shield. I got the Wonder Woman shield and sword from Party City, I wanna say. They were having a big sale and so I ordered it online. I thought it was gonna be um, actual size of those items, but they're very small. Uh, but for Link, I feel like this works, this small circle, especially for that specific shield. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe work that, work some magic, maybe put some molding clay on it to, to make the shapes, but we'll see if I am that ambitious throughout this whole process. Then Link has a red gemstone on his head, like so. This is white. I got it for like 15 cents at Charming Charlie when they were having a giant sale. So I'm just going to paint this cheap white plastic gemstone uh, red and use that as that. And then I made this out of wire and tape and gold paint. <laughs> it's, 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 it works. And it's the chest piece that Link uses and has on that outfit. And I think when I get all the elements together, it'll look good. Now it's it's looking a little rough, but it'll be fine. That is what I have so far. I'll show you the end product. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna wanna be filming during, but if I don't film all of the steps, I'll show you and tell you how I did them. Um, so here we go. <laughs> One million hours later. And here's the finished product. Y'all, it turned out pretty amateur. Out of the three I did this weekend, this one, 
was the one that I learned the most with and would do things the most differently. I think everything looks very homemade, very amateurish, especially that shield. That shield is a mess. <laughs> I really had a good time trying to, to work things around though and, and next time I will do things much better. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with the Korok.